guys welcome to my channel thank you for watching my videos i just wanted to say um i haven't been uh giving enough time to do these videos but with the summer now hopefully i'll get them more and more i'll be posting them more and more uh so i'm on the stop reformer and I have two red springs because today I'm just focusing on a feet and straps uh, routine. So that's like one of my favorite uh, group of exercises. So let's get started. I am actually gonna put up my headrest before laying down. And then as I lay down, I'm gonna put my two feet in the straps. So always push with one leg on the bar then you pull you push the resistance in the strap and you can put the other foot okay so just to start we're gonna go easy just bending parallel feet and extending the legs so i keep my stomach in and um you'll probably notice when you're doing this exercise so i like to keep my back neutral but you're probably going to notice that you're also using the core. So you're not using just the legs, uh, glutes and hamstrings to pull, to push, but you're also using your transverse abdominal, which is really um, the, most important, the most important muscle in your core. So try to focus on keeping the legs together and breathing in, inhale exhale press um i guess the hardest challenge with this one is to try and keep the same resistance in both legs keep going five more five four three two and one. Now I'm just gonna keep my legs long and lift and then exhale lower. So I inhale and lift my legs keeping all of my back except the middle part because I'm in neutral but all the way to the end of my spine I'm not lifting my hips and I'm using the back of my legs to push down. Again, I'm also controlling from the core. You should feel your muscles. And exhaling as I press down. Inhale, exhale. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Keep going, just warming up. Keep the core really engaged and let's go for five, four, three, two, and a last one. Here, I'm going to keep my legs long and I'm just gonna open and close them three times for beats. And then I bend my knees in. I exhale and then I open, close, open, close, open, close, and inhale. So you are breathing also here, but quite quickly, three small exhales. Inhale, bend, exhale, inhale here quickly and then it's really small, but you need to engage your inner thighs so that your legs don't hit together too hard. So the control is in the inner thighs. One, three, and keep going. One, two, three. Really controlling from the inner thighs, otherwise your feet will hit together and it will not be pleasant. <laughs> so far I'm doing classic 
uh, reformer. I'm just following the book exercises just for the warm up, and then we'll be adding some funky stuff. in the straps it's a lot about control your body is engaging the muscles to control the straps and the reformer last one here one two three this time we're gonna open the legs but keep them low close the legs and inhale up exhale lower the legs Inhale, open the legs, exhale to close, really, really using those inner thigh muscles again. Keeping the legs low, the lower, the harder the exercise. Whew. And at any point, if you do feel pain in the lower back, you can totally go into an imprint spine. So this is getting harder. I'm starting to feel the heat. Really engaging to keep the legs low, opening them, closing them, and to the ceiling. So we're doing effort here, exhale, inhale, and again, effort to close, exhale, inhale, up. All this time, the belly is still engaged. Um, just to give a visual, I'm thinking of bringing my belly button closer to my spine. And I'm also imagining that my limbs, including my legs, are being controlled from my core. Everything is an extension of the core. Five more. And five. Four, three, two, last one. And now keep the legs low, and this is really like a challenge. Um, we're going to do circles, but they are small and they're away from each other with the legs. So you should really feel your core this time, engaging through this movement and your legs, inner thighs, outer thighs, everything is working. So pick a direction, keep the circles really low and really apart. And this is intense. Let's go for five, four, whoo, three, two, one. And now we have to reverse the direction. So keep focusing. The goal is not to go fast, it's to keep that control. Keep breathing. And just five, Ooh. four, last three, two, and one. And now I'm just gonna bring my heels together and open my legs, open my thighs, and then use the straps to get a little bit more opening here oh, to get a stretch and a small break. All right, I'm going to remove my straps just to change the resistance and also to start doing um, unilateral. So I'm only gonna have one leg at a time in my, um, in my strap. I'm also 
also gonna grab a circle if you have, or a ball, or both. You can actually use both, depending what works better for you. So I have my circle, and I'm gonna take the left strap, lie down, and I only have one red this time. I'm gonna push with my right foot, put my left foot in, and grab my circle. And this time I'm gonna put it between my ankles. So I'm gonna inhale here, just like the beginning, exhale, press the circle, and inhale, come back. I press, exhale, really press that circle, make it into an oval, and then return on the inhale. Keep the core engaged. You might feel like you're shifting your body from one side to the other, and that's where all the challenge comes in, where you have to try and stay equal at your hips, equal at the knees and the ankles. Ooh. Keep pressing. Really, really trying to squeeze that circle as much as you can. And breathing. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one. Stay here. Now squeeze the circle ten times. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One. Now lift the legs up, just like the first exercise. Don't lift the hips. Exhale, press down. Inhale up and press down. Press in the circle, look. Don't forget. As you press down, you're squeezing the circle. If you feel your body shifting too much, you can use the handles and try to adjust your body. Inhale, exhale, press and lower. Inhale up, press, 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 inhale up, and press, Oof. three more, last three, and two, and a last one, hold it, just five, four, three, two, one, and bend it in. Remove the circle for now. We're just going to go into an exercise that will give us kind of a stretch at the same time. So, my right leg is gonna be long and pointed. My left leg is in the strap. I'm trying to keep it long, and I'm gonna scissor the legs. So as one goes down, the other goes up. So it is probably more effort for the left uh, legs arm string, and then for the quads with the leg that's not in the strap, so my right leg. And breathe, exhaling deep, inhaling deep. Keep going. Five, four, Three, two, one. Okay, I'm gonna bring my two legs next to each other. And this time, the leg that's in the strap is going to just stay there and keeping the resistance. So it must not be relaxing. You still need to feel like you're pushing in that resistance a little bit. Meanwhile, the right leg is going to point and I'm just going to do circles eight times each direction. So really breathe, keeping the belly tight and doing circles towards the outside with this leg. We're at four. So another four. Keep the resistance. Three. This leg should be pushing a lot in that strap. 
two, and it should be on fire. And one, and now we have to reverse the circle. So let's go for one. Breathe, two. Try to make them big if you can without moving your hips, three. Four, Whew. five, six, seven, and eight. And let's do a quick figure four stretch. So just putting your um, left, right foot above your right knee and just stretching. So my feet are a little dirty. I was walking in the garage. My soles. Sorry about that. Whew. Just stretching in that figure four. And now we're going to move on to another exercise. We're going to lift the legs again. This time the right leg stays in place. And now the left leg in the strap is going to go to the left without moving my right leg. You can grab the handles and back to center. Left and back. Try not to shift, try to keep the resistance. This is also a lot of ab work to control this. Woo. I'm totally shifting, so I'm going to use my handle. Let's go for five. Four, it's a lot of strength in here. Three, two, and one. And you can actually put that right leg down on the bar and stretch that left leg. Just using the strap, adding some resistance, trying to uh, lengthen from the back of the thigh, don't pull behind the knee. And every time you want to go deeper in the stretch, you actually exhale. Inhale and then exhale, go deeper. You can keep the strap in the left leg and this time we'll actually place our circle on the outside of our feet. And we'll redo the whole sequence, but with the circle on the outside. So try not to shift your body. Try to readjust yourself if you need. Try to stay in the neutral. Inhale and then exhale. Press the circle out. Inhale and exhale. Press it out. Inhale. Exhale and press. Try to really squeeze it out using all the side muscles of the legs and the hips. Inhale, exhale. Keeping the belly tight. Breathing. Let's go for five, four, and three, two, one. Stay here and now 10 little pulses towards the outside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now lift the legs up. Exhale, press the circle down towards the outside. Inhale up. Exhale, press. Inhale up. Press it up. Inhale up. Really try to press, break that circle. Press it outside as much as you can. It should look like a novel when you get down. And let's go for five. Really breathing. Four. Three. Two. And one. 
and now you can remove the circle we'll stretch at the end so just remove this strap place it back on the shoulder rest keep the same spring so one red spring and now place the right leg in the strap and just circle in the middle of the two legs so same thing as the other side we inhale exhale press the circle into an oval inhale and press exhale inhale bend exhale press keep going at your own breath and your own rhythm Let's go for five. Four. And three. Two. One. Stay here and now press it in ten times. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two one now lift the legs inhale exhale squeeze the circle down inhale lift keep the belly tight exhale it down keep going like this really controlling and trying to have a balance in the body so your legs are more or less at the same level Focusing on your breath. And five, four, don't forget to squeeze the circle in. Three, two, and one. Keep it five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And take the circle off. You can take a quick stretch if you need with the two feet together, knees apart. And when ready, we're going to have the right leg in the strap up to the ceiling, left leg extended, and just scissor those legs, trying to keep the left foot pointed and the belly controlling the whole movement. Really using the back of the leg of the one in the strap and the front for the leg that's not in the strap. Let's go for five, four, and three, two, and one. Now both legs are going to meet at the top and the left leg is going to go around in a circle while the right leg is pressing really hard in that strap. So the right leg is really working. If you feel your right leg being passive, then you're not doing it right. So circle away and in. Trying to really open that hip this is also hip mobility exercise and you might feel different on each side last four like i'm having more trouble opening this hip three then on the other side two and one and now reversing the circle keep going breathing deep Trying to open, keep the leg long without moving the right leg, hopefully. Four, keeping the tension. Three, two, and one. Now keeping the left leg up. Oh, I'm having a cramp in that right leg. Keeping the left leg up, let's 
not move it and open the right leg in the strap to the side your body is going to want to shift try not to move the reformer opening the leg use the handle if you feel your body shifting too much breathing and then slow for five right leg is on fire four my left leg is also active trying to stay in the same place three two and one let's go for a small stretch just laying the left leg over the bar and using the strap bending and opening i always try to stretch deeper on an exhale so inhale i'm actually having a big cramp inhaling and exhaling bringing the leg closer and now i'm just gonna place my left heel above my right knee in a figure four and just gently stretch my legs like this before putting the circle on the outside and working the outer thighs all right when you're ready now grab your circle again and this time place it on the outside so this should feel different and if you're having trouble with the strap i just suggest fixing it before you start the exercise so it doesn't go in your way so as we start we're gonna inhale exhale press it out inhale keeping the sacrum down exhale press it out keeping the belly tight moving with your breath inhale exhale and it's normal to shift i mean we are being pulled in one direction and we're working against gravity to pull in the other direction let's go for five four and three two and one stay there and ten little pulses towards the outside ten nine break that circle eight seven six five four three two one now lift the legs exhale press out through the circle inhale and exhale inhaling exhaling press it out inhale exhale really focusing it's much harder to press the circle towards the outside than it is to press it in so try your best last five and four Last three and two and one and you can take out the circle and this time with just one red I'm going to put my other strap and just finish with one last small exercise for inner thighs and a nice stretch so this is my, one of my favorite exercises for inner thighs and i like to do it with less weight and just have more control and it's called the stag so you bend one foot with the heel towards the middle of your body and the other foot stretches at the same time so it's like half an exercise half a stretch and then you exhale and meet with the two heels together at the center inhale other side exhale use the inner thighs to meet the feet inhale exhale heels together so the heels are the feet are always turned out keep going 
inhaling as I open, exhaling as my heels meet together. Let's go for two more in each direction. And last one. All right. This time we've come to the stretch. So I like to really go into circles, but really slow. So I meet when I meet my feet at the top and when I can't stretch my legs anymore, I open and pull the legs apart. I'm going to do five in each direction. This feels so good. Last one in this direction, and now I open my legs as much as I can and meet them, circle them at the top. Press it down. Open up. Together at the top and press it down. Three more. And two. Last one. Okay, this time I'm going to go into a small short spine, maybe two or three, just to finish. So I'm going to have my legs together. They're going to go to ceiling. This is many steps, so I'm going to show really slowly. This time, when I can't stretch my legs anymore, I'm going to lift my hips with a lot of control. I'm going to put my heels together, bend my knees. And keeping my feet here, or trying to keep my feet here in space, I'm going to unroll the spine one vertebrae at a time. And when I can't anymore, I'm going to pull my heels in, press it up. Hold the feet parallel and bring to ceiling. Lift the hips. You can even hang out there. This is a nice stretch for the lower back. Now, I'm going to put my heels together, bend my knees, keep the feet here, unroll the spine, and pull my feet, and exhale, press them up. Last time like this. I'm going to bring my feet to ceiling. When I can't stretch the back of my legs anymore, I lift my pelvis, my hips, and the carriage should be home. I glue my heels together. Open my knees, unroll my spine, bring my feet in, and exhale out. And that was my feet in the strap workout for today. You can use the straps to stretch a little more. Another way that I like to do is put one foot to the floor and let the other leg stretch out as much as possible and just hang in there for a few seconds. So if you have the time, I suggest you try that. Otherwise, I hope you like this. And if you like my videos, please don't forget to press on the like button and subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you have any questions or any workouts you would like me to do or explain on the reformer, please feel free to comment. Okay, so have a nice day. Thank you, everyone.